On this video, I'm gonna share with you five tools that you can use to manage your social media marketing efficiently. Let's begin. If you're running a business like me, social media can easily become an afterthought because it's time consuming and you don't always have time to sit down and write what you're gonna tweet or what you're gonna put on Facebook or LinkedIn. However, I've got a solution for you and that's Lately. You can access Lately by going to trylately.com. Now, what I really like about their platform is that not only does it allow me to schedule posts in bulk, but the magic behind Lately is that it has an AI powered algorithm. So you can drop in links from, in my case, all my entrepreneur magazine articles. You can drop in videos from YouTube. If you've written content that lives on your blog, you can drop all this content into Lately and then its AI powered algorithm is going to spit out content that's already pre-written for you. And with a couple of clicks, you can just schedule that out to all of your social networks. If you're looking to grow your presence on YouTube, you absolutely need to use TubeBuddy. Now, you can go to TubeBuddy.com forward slash Carlos to get the free Google Chrome extension. There's also a premium version of TubeBuddy that has other bells and whistles. What's really cool about TubeBuddy is that it gives you everything from deep analytics and insights that YouTube doesn't give you. You also have various checklists that TubeBuddy puts in front of you to ensure that before you upload a video, you have key elements like a custom thumbnail, title, keywords, and what I have found to be the most important to help me grow my channel on YouTube through subscribers as well as views is that it shows you where your videos rank based on certain keywords within your content. One of the most important elements of social media marketing is being able to take social media data that lives across platforms like Facebook and Twitter and use that data to your advantage in your business. Now, it's really hard to leverage social media data if you don't have a platform that's crawling social media platforms, including user accounts, to then provide you with the insights and intel that you're looking for. The tool that I specifically use in my business is Brand24. Now, let me describe to you what Brand24 does for me. I'm a public speaker, so I wanna know what are conferences that are putting out call for speakers or call for proposals? I'm also an author, so I wanna know who's mentioning on Twitter best business books. I also run a digital marketing agency. So there's certain keywords that CMOs and heads of marketing are gonna tweet out when they're looking for a digital marketing agency. So all of these keywords I have in Brand24, and Brand24 sends me an email every single day day. You can see here what those emails look like. And then as soon as I see that there's a new call for speakers or there's someone that's talking about best business books, then I'm able to immediately take action and engage with them directly. Before I give you tip number four, I want to encourage you to visit endofmarketingbook.com to get the end of marketing. I promise you this book right here is going to make you a better marketer and help you grow a better business over the next decade, let's get it. The next tool that you should use is Anchor. And you can use Anchor by downloading the mobile app or by going to anchor.fm. Anchor is your all-in-one solution for creating a podcast. Now, you're probably asking yourself, what would you wanna use a podcast for? And it's really simple. Voice marketing is the next frontier in digital and social media marketing because let's face it, a lot of us, we're constantly on the go, we're on airplanes, we're on trains, we're in Ubers, and we don't always have the bandwidth to consume a video on YouTube. And sometimes we just wanna like chill out and listen to a podcast. So there's multiple uses of podcasts regardless of what industry that you're in. Anchor is the all-in-one resource for you to get your podcast started and get distribution to mediums like iTunes as well as Spotify. And by the way, if you wanna learn more about Anchor as a company and how to use it, be sure to check out my interview with Mike Magnano, which is Anchor's co-founder. The last tool I wanna to tell you about is Quora. Now there's two ways that you can use Quora. One is to build thought leadership, the other one is to generate ideas to create content. Now, let's talk about thought leadership First, you can use Quora, which is a questions and answers social network, to see within your industry or your niche, what are the questions that are top of mind for potential clients. You can then answer questions within different threads or forums. Those answers in itself will help you build your thought leadership. And here's a tip, you can actually take those answers and transform them into blogs, which then goes over to content. 
oftentimes a lot of individuals become paralyzed, if you will, because they're searching for ideas in terms of what's the next YouTube video they're gonna create, what's the next blog that they're gonna create, and it becomes like paralysis by analysis. So use Quora as a site that you go to to see what's top of mind that people want to know more about. As soon as you answer their question, you write the blog, you flip on the camera, and then you actually give verbal context to those answers. You are so smart for sticking around and watching these five tools. Now, go implement them in your business and let me know personally if these tools, any one of the five, have been valuable for you. You can find me at Carlos Gila 83 on Twitter as well as on Instagram.